I wanted to just, like I said, no order here. This will be just kind of random, but uh, share just some other things that are definitely worth sharing from Ohio in the 1800s, and I believe much of it well before that. This is a look at Akron in 1907, and you can see a lot going on here in Akron. You can see those big buildings right there. There was also an exposition in Cincinnati. This one's in Cleveland. Sorry, like I said, these aren't in any particular order, but they're definitely just worth showing. Another castle up in Cleveland. This is interesting. I, hopefully I'll make a video with more about doing more on this later, but I've noticed these at several in several places, uh, but specifically around state capitals, these type of old struct, like they're lights, I guess now, maybe they were something else before, maybe they're lights, I don't know, but they have this old green color on them and obviously this old type of style art to it. And these right here, just outside the Cleveland, Ohio courthouse, this is inside the Cleveland, Ohio courthouse. This is a look at the ceiling somewhere in there and it's just so, so, so intricate. And I think they'd have to say that this was done, what, they did it by hand or something like that, but I mean, how would you do that? Uh, that that looks like very advanced, better than we have now, 3D printed or something. I don't know, like that's amazing. I started noticing these, so these little, I don't know what they are. It's kind of like a bundle of something with a strap wrapped around it. But I started noticing some of these in some of the images I was looking at, but just the, again, the intricacy, the detail. This is a courthouse building abandoned in uh, in Cleveland, Ohio. Wait till you see the front of it. This is the interior of it. Just look at that. Here's some art on the exterior of it. It's not a very clear image, which is really unfortunate, but look at the detail on that. Oh, and also on the side of here, you can see that little bundle thing I was just talking about. And here's how I've kind of been thinking about some of this art and the symbols that we see. I mean, if just take like the all the logos on your phone of your apps. If, if we, you know, if we th engrave those into stone and someone hundreds of years, thousands of years later finds that on stone, they're not, you know, like the little Gmail envelope thing, you know, I, I, no one's going to know what those mean. And I think you know, obviously the same things going on here. Their logos obviously mean stuff and it would be awesome to know what they mean because I don't think if they're throwing up these types of buildings that are just so amazing and again to, to think about the civilization economy and people that would be behind all of that and able to do all of that what did I their symbols mean something and like if we're seeing the same ones over and over what are they what are they trying to say with those what did those mean to them and here's the front of this beast wow <laughs> that thing looks so 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 old it's obviously super abandoned super beaten up but it also looks like it's been sitting there for 2000 years already and can take the beating no problem here's an armory the armories are really interesting always mind blowing cleveland ohio this is a gray's armory there's another one or two i think in cleveland i'll show you here's another look at it and you can kind of see the horse and buggy here out front on the dirt roads just not making sense all right, so here's a, here, this one's in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> That's, just look at this archway right here. Those layers and layers of cement arches. At, like this is, like this looks like something a kid built with Legos and then did like a really tricky angle picture of it to make it look like an actual size castle. But no, this is the real deal. Not only is this, I would say this is, the top of the real deal and <laughs> the much bigger bottom of it sits beneath the earth and here we go again columbus ohio here's a courthouse and there's those little i don't want to call them stick bundles because I, I don't think that's what they would be <laughs> like why would why would you have a just a bundle of sticks and next to these like super gnarly eagles all made out of cement and super heavy you're just gonna put a bundle of sticks there like no these are that's got to be something else i mean and then with all these ones up here too like they were really telling full stories showing real stuff about their civilizations we're just so far removed from it and 
confused about it that uh it, yeah but no these were uh, man it would be so cool to to know more about what's actually what's what this all is actually supposed to mean what it does mean here's another building that's part of ohio state university it's another piece of a castle this is the columbus ohio penitentiary this is the columbus ohio st francis hospital just 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 uh, just a hospital here this is in newark ohio it is just a sheriff's residence. It's not part of an old castle. This is part of an armory. Look at that. Here's another look. <laughs> I'm so, like, these are so ridiculous. Here is the a look at some pictures from the expo that was held in Ohio. Here's a look at one of the streets that's a part of it. And again, this just looks fully like I mean, just here's the, you know, it's lumber. They did this whole, this is all rock. It's all, I mean, maybe a little bit of it's not, but these are rock buildings, St solid stone buildings. And we got a little pile of lumber over here and dirt roads that built all of it. Here's now, since after I kind of started to realize in the last videos more about fountains and what they do for water as far as aerating them. And especially if you've got a purifying system attached to it and then you after that after it's purified then you send it through fountains and aerate it the whole fountain thing is super cool and so I, I like seeing this one they call this the great fountain at the centennial exposition and then here's a look at what looks like a ticket to the exposition here's another look at it just absolutely insane insane architecture and these little tiny people down here with their horses and wagons. This is just another picture I found of a flood and you can see, you know, big bad buildings standing up back there still. All, you know, all these big brick stone ones are good. Here's another Ohio State University building. Absolutely a beast. Ohio Capitol building. This is a courthouse in Toledo, Ohio. Look at that, look at this one. This is just so, so solid of a building. How much that must weigh. This is the first national bank in Toledo, Ohio. This building is also in Toledo called the NASB building. I'm not sure if I'm saying that quite right, but another big one in Toledo, another big one in Toledo. This is a yacht club in Toledo. I believe this one's part of a university as well. The chimneys on this one are really interesting. This is a hospital in Toledo. Whoo, yikes. This one's in Akron, Ohio, and it looks like it hasn't been completely stripped and has some of the original this would be super cool to go see in person i've been because they stripped so much of this off it's kind of rare to see any of the actual art still on the buildings like this because like i've said before i think i mean when you see these things especially like these expo buildings there ha and, and you can read in some of them it says like stuff was uh gold and so I just think, you know, if that's the case here, if we've got buildings with gold, of course, that would all get stripped off. This one's also in Akron. This was also in Akron. There was a full uh, Zeppelin air dock. I guess these are called Zeppelins or airships, blimps. This one's in Bexley, Ohio, part of a university, I believe. This is a look at Canton, Ohio. Like, I mean, just look at how much, I don't know exactly what the year is on this one. Canton, Ohio. This one's also in Canton, Ohio. This building's super cool. And look at that tower right there. Here's another look at it. This was apparently a watch factory. Here's a picture of a flood in Cincinnati, Ohio, the 1913 flood. And so look, if that water or mud, whatever, just settles right there, boom, throw in a door right there, and then you've got a little home to live in. This was a fountain inside of an old school in Cincinnati. And I think this is probably some leftover original artwork. Looks pretty cool. and. I don't know, I wonder what they use those fountains for. Or or what, maybe this wasn't a fountain, maybe I'm looking at it wrong or something like that, but pretty cool. Jeez, this one, man, don't mess with this guy. <laughs> this is uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, Kirby Road School. It's a school. Oh yeah, so this is actually, the, the fountains are inside of that school that I just showed you. So here's a look at another one of them. And so yeah, I think that they did turn it into, I mean, like that's our metal, that's, us on top of their beauty here's another look at it and this one's even got the you know the baby statues and everything and then we threw our new plumbing right through it <laughs> here's another one I guess this it didn't work out so we plopped our new one right next to it here's 1880 City Hall in Cleveland Ohio 
you can see it's still got a lot of the decoration ornamentation on it maybe even some I don't know these spires and stuff like when you look at our utilities and technologies it's a lot of stuff just sticking up on top of buildings like that it makes you wonder if that you know if there wasn't leftover technologies and utilities on top of these buildings and that's what we're looking at all these spires and stuff like that this was a picture I didn't look into this one much they call this one the Grand Army of the Republic Convention 1901 I think this is probably some sort of also exposition fair something like that but look 1901 cleveland ohio you, you can see all this in the background too insanity look at this thing look at these statues the sphinxes with the wings or i don't know what they are oh eagles maybe yeah eagles or something like that here's another look at the great lakes exposition of 1937 got the blimp up there that they're showing off this was a brewing company in cleveland in 1890 there's another brewing company in st louis missouri it was another brewing co that just looks like a full-blown castle and i think that's what we're seeing here too just amazing massive like look at this whole thing here's an opera house in cleveland and this is the construction picture to me it looks like excavating getting it going fixing it up here's a high school picture taken in in 1911 i showed this one in a previous video but the cleveland terminal tower madness just absolute madness here's another one in cleveland ohio this one's taken in 1880 this one is a in zanesville ohio a federal building a post office i think look at this though i wonder if it still look i wonder if it still has all this on there i'd like to go see that if it did here's another picture from an ohio flood another flood picture and another flood picture here's some interior of another high school all brick all this just really really amazing i get like there's yeah the locker i bet you can see the stuff that kind of makes it look like a high school but if you can see past that for a second this is wow and this is a really good example of if you can see past it because they've got rinky dink backboards thrown up and stuff like that but if you can look at like the actual structure and the, if all that was stripped off and the building was just sitting there in its original beauty like look at this just the the detail in that woodwork not for a high school, not for a high school, and especially not when you, your homes are wood buggy cabins. We're living, we're, we're all living in cabins, we're all chopping up wood for heat, but we need grapes and leaves and a, an amazing wood design in massive rock buildings. <laughs> ah. Look at this, Springfield, Ohio, Wittenberg University. Oh my gosh. By the way, most of these, if not all, have, are on the are histor are on the National Historic Register. Whoa. I don't remember seeing this one. Look at that dome. And look at the artwork still on it. Akron, Ohio Airport. That's crazy. But to me, that just looks like, you know, chunk of a castle tower toledo ohio castle yeah I, this is a whole bunch of mud flood came in buried so much of this thing and then people showed up this thing's so crazy now moving on to new york watch my new york playlist um and remember to please share these videos with other zombies